so what we created was a time-lapse slider. Um, we've got a motor that will move the camera along the rail here, and it goes in a move-shoot-move fashion for long exposure stuff. So the motor will move, it'll take a picture, and then it'll continue moving. And then you can take those pictures and put them together in a computer and play back a video. Uh, we also built in a video setting where the motor will run constantly and we can record video for smooth, linear shots. This is our control box and on it we have an LCD screen that displays our menu. And then we also have up, down, select buttons as well as a keypad for user input. And so one of the first uh, options on our menu is calibrate. The slider will move to one side of the rail and then it will move to the other side to the angle bracket which is set by the user and as it does so it records the number of steps it takes and then in our time lapse mode and so here I'm just going to input a one minute time lapse with a picture every two seconds and a quarter second exposure using the distance that it got through the calibration we can calculate uh, the motor speed and necessary number of steps it needs to take between each picture. So as it moves, each time it stops, it triggers the camera and takes a picture to demonstrate our video mode. Here you can, the user can then put any RPM they want for the motor. And then they can run it either left or right. This is about 60 RPM. We also have a battery function, which is the PIC is monitoring the battery constantly. And if it dips below a certain voltage, it will sound the buzzer. We designed our project to be somewhat modular, so you can connect pretty much any camera. Everything comes apart pretty easily so that you could put it in a backpack and then take it hiking. All of our electronic components fit in this box, and then we have a couple of uh, waterproof plugs on the back here. Sound also initiates when the end of the program has run and it's taken all of the, like it's run its time lapse. On page one of the main menu, we've got a calibrate setting, a reset setting, a time lapse setting. Page two, we have the video setting, the battery monitoring line, and then just the general settings. And the way it triggers the camera is inside we have an optocoupler, which is a LED, um, which triggers a transistor. And pretty much that just allows current to flow and the camera actually powers the shutter.